I have two rules when it comes to soft drinks. It must have caffeine. It must be sweet. That's why Dr. Pepper is one of my favorite soft drinks. No, they're not paying me. I wish they were. It meets both of the requirements. Well, most of all of them do. That's why I just like pop in general. But today we're going to tackle something that all of us have wrestled with at some point. Rules. We're all impacted by these social distancing rules right now. You fed up with them yet? And because we don't get to make the rules, we find that we butt up against them. But rules always assume some kind of relationship. Let me give you a couple of made up categories. First one would be the family model. The second would be the club model. In the first model, you get the rules after the relationship is established. In the second, you get the rules in order to establish the relationship. Big difference. In religion, which one is it? Is it you're in with God no matter what you do, or is it if you behave, you get in? Keep behaving, or I'm going to kick you out? Where do I stand with God concerning the rules? To figure this out, I want to go back to one of the oldest set of laws ever given. The Ten Commandments. All right, so first of all, let's go back a little bit further. Abraham had Isaac. Isaac had Jacob. Jacob had Joseph. Um, he was dad's favorite. This ticked all of his brothers off, especially when he was telling them his dreams all the time. They hated that. They tried to kill him. He ended up a slave in Egypt. He becomes the prime minister of Egypt. A famine in the land brings the family to Egypt. Family grows into a nation and becomes slaves to the country. In 400 years, all they know is slavery. The, the Israelites just know slavery. Whenever Jews got together, they would tell stories of Father Abraham. Father Abraham had many sons. Remember that little ditty? Chosen, faithful, promised land. But the Jews are saying to themselves, you know, what we've been taught these things growing up, and it doesn't sync with reality. Abraham had Isaac and Joseph and all these, and it was so long ago, and none of this stuff is going to come true. You're just telling us this stuff so that we'll have faith and believe and not give up hope. Moses comes along and they get out of Egypt. And in Exodus, Exodus chapter 20, verses 1 and 2, he presents the Ten Commandments. Now look what God says before he ever gives one rule. God spoke all these words, it says, I'm the Lord your God who brought you out of Egypt, out of the land of slavery. Just that. Now here's the best part. God is saying, I'm your God who has done something for you. And you have done nothing for me. I delivered you when hope was not even a thought. You weren't even dreaming about it. Abraham was a distant memory. I delivered you and you haven't done a thing. And God says, we won't even talk about the rules yet. I just want to establish our relationship first. I want you to know that you're mine and I'm yours. God opts for the family model over the club model. See, with God, relationship always precedes rules. God created rules. Not so he could get them back, not so he could pay them back, but so that he could bring them back. So the next time you think about God and the church and rules and religion, remember one thing. God cares more about his relationship with you than obeying a bunch of rules. But the Ten Commandments are just that. They're a relationship guide. The first four to God, the last six to everyone else. Get up in the morning and say, you know what, I'm, ju I'm just going to trust you. When you say that, the Ten Commandments really just take care of themselves. Thanks for watching. See you next week.